Have a big old ball it's Christmas. Well, well, well. Today's test drive is this 1968 Chevy Chevelle station wagon. How cool is this? 350 under the hood. Lots of upgrades in the front here. You definitely got power steering, wood, wood brakes, nice exhaust, aluminum radiator. Oh yeah. I see this being a fun test drive here. Looking around on the outside of the car, we got disc brakes in the front, Riddler wheels, exhaust kicked out to the side on a white paint job, black bumpers. All right, should be a good ride here. Go to maplemotors.com, check out the 100 detailed pictures, check out the financing and shipping we offer, and hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Well, somebody's recovered this door panel. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Dash pad. She clean carpet. Been replaced. B&M shifter. Well, tack sitting there. Aftermarket gauges. There's the mileage. Looks like our glove box is kind of messed up. Seats look good. Headliner also nice and clean looking. Let's go ahead and start it up. This is the first time I turned that key. I didn't even pull the car up to this spot. Gauges, we'll wait on them to come up. Looks like our oil pressure is working. Turn signals. I don't see them popping up anywhere, but that doesn't mean they're not working. We may just have some bulbs out. Wipers. I don't think there is any. No wipers on this. Blower motor. Nope. Stuck. Old radio. Yeah. I don't know if I can get in that glove box or not. Might have to use the key. Pack. Working. Horn. I'm personally going to say it don't work. I haven't tried it, but let's go. Oh, the spring was in there too. I thought it was going to actually off. Well, never mind. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. It's got cutouts. Get loud. <laughs> you close them up? What? That's out the back. That's sweet. Okay, let's hit the road. See how this one runs and drives. It's time to roll. Go ahead and get our seat belts on. It ain't going nowhere. Super belt. <laughs>
super stiff brake pedal. And it'll stop fast. You gotta stand on it, you know what I mean? Well, looking around here, that gas gauge is not working. So I'm gonna pull into the gas station here. We're gonna get us a little bit of fuel. It's so dim in there, but it's way past full. But it's not working. I'm gonna guess and say that the uh, fillers in the back there are on this side, so it doesn't indicate on the dash. Okay. Engine temperature never came up. The gauge is not working right now. If it changes, I'll let you know. Uh, oil pressure still at 55, almost 60. I'll be back. All right, again, $20 worth of fuel. Well, I'll put a little bit more this time. I don't know why, just, you know, slip of the finger, a couple more dollars. Caps right here, it's kind of obvious here on the side, new cap. Let's go ahead and start it up. I can tell you one thing. Oh, she's dragging. Where am I? Give her a second, try again. Okay, so we were dragging. I was getting ready to give up. We'll be checking that, making sure we're charging. Maybe timing. I'll see what I can figure out. Let's keep going.
get my seat belt on here get y'all set up y'all look pretty good on here I can show you what I use to make all these videos below in the description be sure to check that out I keep y'all up here because uh, it's just easier that way that way I can see if my camera's getting all goofy it's up on my head <laughs> Okay, I went ahead and did the walk around here. We're heading back to the lot now. Here we go. squeak from the belt getting into the brakes a little bit just kind of slowing down can't tell who's behind us Got a little gap here. <laughs> but she's staying nice and cool. Looks like we're at, honestly, it brought it back down to uh, 150. It was at 180 right before we took off. Here we go. Little bump in the road here. Nice and smooth. Got to manually turn off your turn signals. At least it didn't cut off back there. ready to pull back into the lot guys i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to hit subscribe share picking out the flaws is coming up next and i gotta figure out what else i could do running out of test drive videos today because it's right before christmas man because of y'all we've actually done pretty dang good in the last two weeks we're gonna have to restock we got a lot of cars that are out of state uh, we need to get those in though because inventory is getting low at the moment. Of course, that'll change pretty quick. We've got a ton of, uh, basically a ton of emails right now to go through with lots of cars that are for sale out there. We can kind of cherry pick at the moment because there is so many. Just here on premises. We don't have all the cars here. We do have about 30 cars that are coming in um, after the first of the year though. So stick around for that. That's gonna be a, a lot of work. My kind of work though. I'll see y'all in a moment. Let's go ahead and walk this ride. Paint job's in okay shape. It does have a lot of chips. I see some little bubbles in the corner of the door there. But anything there is, you'll know about it. Look at the detailed pictures on our website. That's at maplemotors.com. And we'll go ahead and get started here. So they painted up these bumpers in the front. You got aftermarket headlights.
I've got a lot of little chips like this in the paint, some stains, chips on the edges up here as well. Alright, coming on down the side here. Little chip there. Now a little rust in the bottom corner of this door here. The chips at the bottom too. Slight little bubbles popping up there. Back here, you got some rust. Little bubbles in the back here too. That's all the way through the back. Now your midsection. scratches chips in the door handle where they used to be chrome I guess what I'll do is just establish that there's a lot of chips in the paint job and we'll just kinda show it as we're going instead of me saying all the chips Older glass. The seal looks good. Somebody's replaced it. Like scratches up top here. tailgate here's got a bunch of little chips as well a little dent over here scuffs there's our handle it's got a lock but it's not locked And then to open it, I haven't opened this myself. There we go. Make sure it's got the straps, it does. Good deal. Might as well look in the back here, missing some trim. down this side got some bubbles over here as well a little bit of rust coming through there some up here in the front little bubbles there in the edge of the door scratches 
Those are. I can't tell if that's dirt or what. I think it's surface scratches. A lot of chips on this side. Make sure that's what it is. Yep. Scuff there. Chips on that door handle. Ding in the door here. Also there. bubbles in the paint up top seal looks good needs to be re-blacked out dirt And of course, the roof here, a little chip there. All right, all right, let's check out some more of this interior. I wonder if this door is open over here. Maybe this one. Yep. Stiff lock there. There it goes. Seals look good. Door panel's been recovered. It's looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Missing a little bit of carpet there. But they did try to replace it. It just didn't go all the way back. if this was unlocked. Yep. A little bit of rust there in the corner. No, the interior is in pretty good shape. Door needs some grease on it. Oh yeah. Got a couple screws down here to tighten it up.
spot there on the seat. Alright, start her up. holes on your pillar. Something was mounted before. Bods are stiff. The bracket there is so turning it. It needs to be a little bit looser. Like it's got a little bit of an exhaust leak down there. Pretty loud on this side. Some extra light. It's like a ballast. I guess that's for these. Now this spring is super stiff. You gotta actually uh, slam it. Hold on, here we go. There we go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to point out all the flaws so you know what you're looking at, you know what it's coming to get. Um, I do this with every car on the lot, and I do this every day. So please, hit subscribe, share this video. I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. I'm going to head on back, see if there's anything else I can video over the break. Thanks, guys.